Welcome back. I'm Shannon Fox and here is Sarah Davies and we are celebrating an entire day of crafting and for our 24 hour craft event, everything that you can fill your entire cart with, fill your car with, fill a trailer full of crafts, <laughs> we'll ship it all to you. And I know how many of you are doing $5, that. <laughs> right? Exactly. I literally, I call all my friends and I say, it's a 24 hour craft event. Just load up. This is the time so to stock you guys up. Do and this. not only the shipping and handling, but we're giving you amazing values and amazing sets that you can only get here. This is the Creative Flower stencil set. What you can do with this stencil set is absolutely beautiful. This is the first time ever we've brought stencils here. Oh, look at now, how these are these. I need to show you, I need to explain. There are two different options to go for. And if I take you through them first, you're getting four stencils in the collection. And I've done the stencils at eight inches square so that you can do big backgrounds for your scrapbook pages yes. or you can do little elements for your card making, which I'll show you. Okay. Now, these are your textures, okay? So you can see the different designs that you're going to be getting included. All you need to think is, am I going to go for the textures, which is where you're getting those really fancy backgrounds. So if I just show you some of these cards, for example, it's so subtle in the background, but it creates that beautiful background effect. Or something like the barbed wire, how different and unique does this look? Now, they work beautifully. They've been designed by Sheila Douglas, and they work beautifully with the Creator Flower dies that we had on last night. But they, it's just great to have stencils to be able to do backgrounds. So mm -hmm. that's your first one. That's your, your textures or your botanicals you can go for. So this is where you've got those beautiful leaf backgrounds. You've got the grid background with the vines on. Mm. Oh, I, I think it's the botanicals I want to start off demonstrating with. But when you see the samples, whether you're working onto fabric with these, whether you're working ah. and inking through them, I'm going to start off with a bit of texture paste on these. And I've never been able to get this crafty and do demos like this because we've never brought these sort of products. Now, all I'm doing here is a little bit of repositionable spray adhesive and I'm going to pop this is one of the ones from the botanical set and I'm just going to hold that in place now I've taken a little bit of texture paste and I've mixed in I've squeezed in from our sparkle pens some mm -hmm. of the green sparkle so this was just clear and um, okay. uh, white texture paste and I've made it green right then all you would do with your stencil is you can just go ah. through the detail like this so we're just building up now this is one way to do it i'm also going to show you how you can just do it with some of your inks doesn't matter if you don't have things like texture paste at home if you want to paint through these if you want to use them to draw through them if you want to use them for applique and you want to use them to go through your die cutting machines and use them as um emboss like embossing folders you can do all of that with them there are so many techniques all covered with the same product with stencil just go on um youtube and have a look at stencils and you can see oh all the different goodness. techniques now when that dries that is actually three-dimensional paste mm -hmm. so that is the start point that is one of the things that I like to do with them if I'm working with texture paste well what, you can't do that with anything else you, nope. you have to have a really good stencils. stencil to be able to do that and then of course you're able to stencil. rinse it right off look can I just show you something quality else I haven't I haven't brought my uh, Gemini over here but I did this on the table before we went I took one of the stencils I put it on top of my cardstock and then added the rubber embossing mat, uh -huh. sent that through the Gemini machine, and then what you get is this beautiful textured background. And you can see, I've just used a bit of pearlescent card to get a subtle texture, but all of a sudden, not only do you have here eight stencils, you've got eight embossing folders. Oh my goodness, that makes this incredible. So each one, the price you see there, $24.95, is for four. You mm -hmm. choose if you want the botanical background, which is the, the leaves and the, the floral, uh, a little bit of a grid pattern that's these here or if you just want the texture which is that one looks almost like a little bit of like a mossy brick and then um kind of a like asymmetrical just really beautiful backgrounds that just sort of blend into the background and create that dimension is a really great option as well now this is what a lot of you are probably going to do with these you're going to take a little bit of cardstock mm -hmm. you're going to add it on uh, put it over your cardstock and then i'm just taking a little bit of color on one of my dabbers and you can just dab through. Now I'm using just a pale orange here. The one I pre-prepared actually I'd done with them with the browns too. And the great thing is when you're using your distress inks you're literally blending out to nothing. So you can ah. barely see what I'm doing here but you'll see the difference when I take the stencil off. If I just lift this up you can see it is leaving me just that hint Ooh. of colour on the background. This is what I love about stencils. Now this is where I've done it with the oranges but look 
look how I've done that in the browns and then just taken that stencil back over the top and then drawn through it ah. with my little pen. So with the fine liner pens that Jen had on last night mm -hmm. and I've just slightly offset so that then you get the detail in the uh, embossing in the background you're also going to get the detail in the drawing so mm. you can draw through them you can emboss through them you can ink through them you can put your texture paste through them but they're so simple to use mm -hmm. and like I said it's the first time ever we've brought stencils here at HSN and I wanted you to see how to be able to do different cards like this we do so much in the way of die cutting and folding but I never get my fingers dirty I never get a chance to do these technique based cards mm -hmm. and it's about having those tools in your armory now, if I just kind of take you through again the different ones that come in each collection yes. and what you're going to make mm -hmm. with them. Right. So this is your um, background textures collection. Mm. So again, you're getting four different ones in the set. And if I just show you how they're going to look. So for example, this is the barbed wire effect one. And you can see how that looks in the background. And again, this has been textured. So the texture paste has, has gone through this. But you don't have to do the big background cards. I've just done, I'm showing you the big background so you can see how large you could take mm -hmm. it. You can just use small elements in your backgrounds like this one here. So that you, you would never even think, those of you that are into mixed media, you would never imagine that that has been achieved with a stencil. Wow, but it's stencil. just all it's all three dimensional and again just done with um, gesso and then gilding wax through the back of this. Mm -hmm. So if you keep going along, we've also got the, the kind of splatter effect ones. Mm -hmm. I love these designs. So it's just giving you the splatter in the background and then you've also got that brick wall. So these are super, super useful. Whether you're using them in conjunction with the, the other creator flower elements that we've had on the show last night and we've got coming up next, mm -hmm. or whether you're using them individually to create your own backgrounds. And for me, we spend so much time worrying about what's going on in the centre of the card, what the sentiment is, what the topper is, what the, the main focal point, we often forget about the background. Right. These are about getting your backgrounds mm. right. So, same here. These are, the, these are now the uh, botanicals. So you have oh. either the textures or the botanicals. Love that. So these are the botanicals. Mm -hmm. So this is the floral. Now that's the one that you saw me using that we use the texture mm -hmm. paste with. But what you don't have to use them with the things like the texture paste. This one's just been inked through, but it's been used so that you've got part of it and then turn it round and do another part, turn it round and do another part a different colour to build up this kind of jungle mm. scene. Or what about using the individual leaves? But now the actual stencil, if you look, comes with the individual leaves here, but by layering them up on top of each other in different colours, again, you're creating that all over background. Mm. And then finally, the one that I used in the demonstration, I absolutely love this one. Isn't that really good? And it's like it's got really that, um, you've got that effect in the background as well as them lovely florals. I mean, then there's so much you can do with it. It's absolutely beautiful. You used it with glitter 